we're going to start off with some lab safety. Now, I know we're not working in a lab, but we still have to go through some safety rules. So in the future, when you do end up working in a lab, you'll already have some rules under your belt. The other thing is, um, before any experiments happen, your teacher will go over all safety procedures with you as well. But let's do our top, kind of top 10 safety rules. Uh, a picture of students who are working very unsafely. So let's go through and talk about some general safety rules. The first one is, and these are in no particular order, the first one is make sure before you start you listen to the instructions that your teacher is going to give you and you make sure you read your instructions. So we usually give you a lab sheet and we say read the instructions and we also tell you, you know, things to look out for, how to do the lab itself. So before you do any experiments, make sure you listen to or read instructions carefully for, before attempting to do anything. Now with every lab we do when we're using chemicals, we're going to really stress that you wear your safety goggles or your safety glasses. So make sure for sure you're wearing your safety goggles when we're using anything that could get splashed into your eye or we're doing any type of burning. Now accidents are going to happen and that's what you know we're here for is to help you learn and accidents are part of learning. So if you ever do have any uh, have an accident or a spill or anything like that, just make sure your teacher knows so we can make sure that you're cleaning things up properly. So notify your teacher of spills or accidents. And again, it's not a big deal. They're accidents. Um, it, they just happen. Next ones. If we're using the Bunsen burners, all right, and it's probably a good idea anyway when you're working in the lab to make sure that if you have long hair, it's tied back. We don't want anything happening, your hair going up on fire. It'd just be a horrible tragedy for you. The next thing you need to know is where all the safety equipment is. And we're gonna go through the safety equipment that's in the classroom, but make sure you know the location of um, all the safety equipment. If we were in the classroom, you would have a chance to go around and see where these things are placed. Um, but we're just going to go through what the safety equipment is for now. When you're doing your labs, make sure you keep your work area clean. When it's all cluttered and messy, that tends to cause more mistakes. Um, so we're going to make sure you keep your work area clean. Alrighty. So to keep you safe, there's going to be no food or drink in the lab. We don't want food or drink getting mixed with uh, dangerous chemicals and then you ingest them. Um, if you need to smell something in the lab, you need to get the odor of something, what we're gonna do is use the wafting technique. So you can see in the picture here, the young girl is waving the fumes towards her nose rather than sticking her nose right into the beaker. So if you need to smell something, you're gonna use the wafting technique to smell the chemicals. When you're finished with your lab activity, you're going to make sure you clean up your work area wash off the surface of your desk if there's dangerous chemicals around so that we leave the area nice and clear for the next person. And finally, usually not a problem in the lab, we're going to make sure we're working safely and we're not going to be fooling around in the laboratory. All right, so those are kind of our top 10. And again, we'll tell you other safety rules as we go through doing labs. So let's look at some of the safety equipment that we have around the classroom. Now, different labs are going to have additional pieces of safety equipment. This is just what's in our classroom. So one of the things we have are fire extinguishers. Now, this type of fire extinguisher is an ABC dry chemical extinguisher, and it's a great one because it can be used for all sorts of types of fires. Um, it can be used for paper, solvents and electrical fires. Now, you can see the little tab on it, the little green uh, tag that's on there. That just shows you that it's inspected regularly. So they come around, they check the pressure in there, and they make sure that if there is a fire, the fire extinguisher is ready to put the fire out. Okay, now the next thing is this thing called a fire blanket. So a fire blanket is made up of a type of material that is um, fire retardant, so it will not go on fire, and it also will not allow oxygen to get through. But basically, um, you should use a fire blanket as your last resort if somebody goes on fire, someone's clothes go on fire, because uh, you don't want to wrap that heat in with the person. It may cause them more um, damage or more injury. 
So a fire blanket would be used maybe after, it's like after there's been an accident to keep the person warm to prevent them to, from going into shock. Or if you've got a workplace that's on fire, all right, you can throw the fire blanket over the top of that thing to smother the flames out. If somebody goes on fire, the best thing to do is have them to stop, drop and roll. Right, but if you need to use a fire blanket to pound down the like to to amper out the flames, that'd be really useful. All right, so basically the fire blanket is used to smother uh, small fires. And once you've used the fire blanket, you need to um, get a brand new one. So they're one use only. Okay, so our next one is the eye wash. Right, so the next thing is the eye wash. Now you'll notice again with the eye wash, it's got a tag on it, and that tag tells you that the eye washes are inspected regularly. So they're inspected weekly, and they're inspected to make sure that the temperature that's coming out of the eye wash is not too hot, it's not too cold, it's perfect for your eyes. Um, it's, they're important for on-the-spot decontamination. So if in the lab you end up with something in your eye, we can flush it. There's also um, eye washes in the back room, so when we're preparing chemicals, we can flush our eyes out right away if something happens because you have to do it very, very quickly. Um, of course, you're going to be wearing safety glasses and we wear safety glasses when we're preparing things. So hopefully the eye washes never actually need to be used, but if they do need to be used, we know that they're clean and they're ready to go. Um, so they're important to flush away hazardous substances. And like I said, you need to use them quickly to try to flush things out of your eyes as soon as possible. Um, and they are inspected weekly. Now you may notice in all the classrooms at school, there's a thing that's called the fire exit sign. And on the fire exit sign, it's gonna tell you where to go if there is a fire alarm. So they show you the direction to go in case of a fire. And there may not even be a fire, it just may be the fire alarm is gone for some reason, right? And by law, every classroom has to have one of these to show you how to get out of the school. And again, those are inspected regularly to make sure that they're as up to date as possible. All right, now one of the other things that you'll find in the classroom is this thing that's called a broken glass box. And this is a box that's designed only for broken glass. So it's where you put your broken glassware. And stuff that's really, really dirty or maybe contaminated would not go into this glass um, box. That needs to be disposed of differently. But again, accidents are going to happen in the classroom. So you just use a broom and the dustpan and clean the, the glass up. We put it into the broken glassware box. And that way, once it's full, um, it gets disposed of safely. So we don't throw our glassware into a regular garbage container because when the custodians are cleaning up or maybe we're moving you know, our garbage around, we, we can end up being injured from the broken glass. And the last thing, and one of probably the most important things for safety are your safety glasses, all right, or safety goggles. So um, you probably know if you've taken SHOP, there's different types of eye protection. Uh, we can use these safety glasses because they're good enough for our purposes, but if you were you know, doing something a little bit higher level like welding, you're gonna be using completely different types of eye protection. But we're going to be using safety glasses whenever we're heating anything or whenever we're mixing chemicals because it's really important to make sure our eyes are protected. And there may be other activities where you need to use your safety glasses. In physics, if you're doing some launching, some ballistic stuff, you may need to use your safety glasses as well. And these are cleaned and sterilized regularly. So we've got a cabinet where we put the safety glasses when you're finished using them and they get sterilized with some UV light so you don't end up with... Um, contamination. Alrighty, so that's everything from our um, lab safety and our safety equipment. So go on to the next assignment and make sure you drop it into the Dropbox.